what is going on everybody in today's video we're doing a pros and cons on bunker hill so let's go ahead and hop right into it and we're going to go right into the pros all right so for number one this place is very well lit there is a lot of lights around here that already comes with the place so you don't have to worry about providing your own lights or power for that matter so basically this place just comes with a good decent amount of lights so you don't even have to worry about that all right so for number two you don't even have to worry about building your own walls around this place it already comes with a pre-built wall and a bunch of pre-built structures already here so yeah it's basically just already pretty much fortified you don't even have to put defenses down and yeah it's just really fortified right off the bat you don't even have to worry you can just move right in all right for number three i never knew this until literally just now when i actually checked this place generates a lot of caps i checked my workbench and i had over two thousand caps sitting in the workbench so since it's the headquarters of the caravan trading post and everything like that it generates a lot of caps because it's pretty much the main source of currency in the commonwealth if you're looking for a place that's pretty occupied maybe a uh, move in do your own kind of little thing there and actually have a little bit of a player home going on you can actually move into bunker hill after doing a certain set of quests but yeah this place is a uh, pretty awesome i mean if you want to have a nice little home where you can live and everything this is a great little place to live if you're not looking to build a full-fledged settlement all right, so for number five, basically just like kind of like number four, if you are wanting to kind of role play a caravan trader, like okay. say once you find, spoiler alert, your son, you can uh, pretty much, you know, just kind of live out the rest of your days as a caravan trader, kind of serve the commonwealth, uh, help people out and everything like that. And yeah, just kind of live your uh, days out as a caravan trader. And yeah, it's just, if you want to role play that, there you go. This place is great for you because this is the headquarters of caravan trading. So best place to live if you're trying to role play a caravan trader. Alright, so for number six, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure this place never even really gets attacked at all because some of the backstory that you actually hear about from the uh, person who runs this settlement, kind of like the mayor of this place, is Kessler. You uh, talk to her, and what, to unlock this place, you have to do some quests through her and everything like that. And basically, she kind of tells you how they have an agreement with the raiders and everything. And yeah, you'll learn about that if you go to unlock this place because you want to pretty much talk to her and everything about that. But basically, just. She kind of tells you how they have an agreement with the raiders, so I'm pretty sure this place never gets attacked, or at least doesn't get attacked by raiders, because I've never seen like the little prompt or anything for getting attacked at Bunker Hill, so I could be wrong about this. Correct me down in the comments if I am. Uh, if you've ever been attacked here, just let me know, and I'll... I'm pretty sure this place never gets attacked, so that could be a pro. So yeah, guys, if you're looking to, for a place to settle down and not get attacked then I definitely recommend Bunker Hill, so let's go ahead and get right into the cons. Alright, so for number one, this place doesn't really have any room to build just because of all the pre-built structures that are already here. Again, this place is well fortified and everything, so it kind of makes up for not having any room to build. You can kind of move yourself into one of the little empty little shack areas in here if you are looking to live here. Uh, but this place isn't really meant for a settlement just because of the small amount of room there really is to build. And it already comes with enough settlers as it is, and there's no just really not much room to do anything here unless you're just looking to make a nice little player home out of it. Alright, so for number two, this place doesn't have any water in the settlement at all. So basically, you cannot build any of the actual water purifiers. Instead, you have to stick with the water pumps, which this place actually comes with two of those already. So it provides adequate water for the settlers already living here. So you don't have to worry about providing any of these people with water because they've already got their own food, water, and everything. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, so which settlement would you like to see next in this pros and cons series? And yeah guys, if you do enjoy this video, drop a like down below, subscribe for more, I will definitely catch you guys in the next one, and peace out everybody.